Hi, and welcome back to Knit It and Quit It. I'm Lee, and I'm excited to see you come back to my channel. What have I done this week? Well, I have some good and some bad. So let's start with the good. Good is I have finished not one, but both of my socks. It is Cookie A's Best Friends pattern in Madeline Tosh Holy Way colorway in Mad Tosh Sock. I love them. I've blocked them. I'll admit I've worn them. <laughs> and I'm excited for my next set of socks. So what's the bad? I have made zero progress in the wreath. I don't know why it's gotten me. There's something, something about it that for some reason I can't bring myself to finish. I think it's because finishing is my least favorite part. Let me know in the comments if there's something that excites you about finishing a project. I like starting lots. What is another project? The sweater for my boyfriend. He likes to call it a tiny little blanket. And as you can see from the armhole shaping, he's not entirely right. So I have finished the back of his sweater. This was supposed to be his birthday sweater, his birthday of last year. But luckily I procrastinated long enough so that it's almost on time for his birthday of this year. I've finished the back and now I am on the left front. It is a zip front cardigan. It is the Chacon pattern on Ravelry. I will link below in my comments, but you'll notice something here. So what is this? I actually prefer to do a tubular cast on. It's from many of Jared Flood's patterns. It's Bray is the pattern that I have that has this tubular cast on. I'll reference it below. But this is a, a tubular cast on and all I have to do, if you can see, is undo the waist yarn and I get a clean finished edge. So the Chacon pattern by Cookie A does not have or require a tubular cast on, but that's something that I've found that makes my work look more finished. So despite my not liking finishing, I'm willing to do a finishing step that begins at the start. Uh, what is another thing that I've learned from this sweater? My boyfriend has a 38 inch chest. This sweater, I am knitting the 47 inch size. Now you would think that that's a huge disparity and it is, but they call for heavy worsted yarn and I am using Mad Tosh DK. So trust your gauge, do a gauge swatch. I don't do gauge swatch. No one actually does gauge swatch, but I actually just start the sweater. And when I started the 37 inch size, it was tiny. And I thought, why don't I jump up? So each time I'd rip it out, jump back up. You'll see I have a frogging photo on my Instagram and uh, keep knitting because at the end of the day you want it to fit the recipient. So if it fits the pattern measurements but you have a different gauge, that's fine. All you want is something that fits the wearer and hopefully it does fit the wearer because I care about them quite a bit. So finally we have a housewarming party on Sunday. We're very excited about it. I have made my goal of finishing the wreath in time for our housewarming. We'll see if that happens or it doesn't happen. Uh, can it happen? Yes. Should it happen? Maybe. Will it happen? Almost certainly no, but you'll find out in next week's episode. So have a great day and happy crafting. Bye!